off to go do the chores with the GoPro on so you guys can get a little bit of behind the scenes action, right? Yep. Okay. It's a nice cold frosty morning out there. Yeah. Good luck. Last night I mixed up some muesli. It's kind of like an overnight oatmeal basically. <laughs> But um, it's just oats and coconut, raisins, pineapple, uh, dates in there, a little bit of cinnamon. Anyway, it's it's yummy stuff. So I haven't made that in a long time, so I thought that I would. And it's nice for like if you're going on a trip or you know leaving first thing in the morning or you need something all made up because you wake up and there it is, all ready to go. So there's that, and then there's also some uh, um, leftover oat waffles and pancakes. So if somebody doesn't want oatmeal, they can have that. There she is. There she is. Hey, 
Here she is. Let's see if we can get some dog some food. Hey, girl. Yeah, I'm sorry we're out of alfalfa. I'm sorry. Yeah, honey. I know. Yeah. Okay. Let me get in here. Ah. Get your little head out of there. Shoo. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get your little head out of there. Yeah, there's no alfalfa girl. Little stinker. He wants in. Hey, get your little head out of there. Get right out of there. It's kind of hard to know the goats are standing on you, isn't it? Dog food, guys. Nothing that you want to eat. Uh, nothing you want to eat. Shoo, uh, get out of there. You learned last time, didn't you? Huh? Get out of there. Get out of there. I <laughs> Try to hold the gate open. Get this lid on. Oh, dog water's frozen. There's some ice cubes in there for me. <laughs> All right, time first. Let me look at their water. All right, time frozen. Oh, Buckley's water's frozen. This is old water. Ah, hey girl. No! Hey girl. <laughs> hey girl. Uh, hey girl. Hey. Hey girl. <gasps> Kickstand sinking in the mud. Hey girls. Hey, <laughs> you're a little scared of this? Well, had short time go. What? Had short time go. Good. Yeah? Got some cool footage for me? Yep. All right. Breakfast is waiting.
Did you yeah. put it in there? Why would you want that? Buddy's got some popcorn for the chickens. I think they're gonna like that, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Which chickens are you bringing him to? No, you don't need to run in. Do you want to give them to these chickens over here or these chickens over here? Which ones? Get food. Okay, well, you mean they never get treats? Okay, we'll give them to these ones. What? Where should we put it in? Well, do you want me to open up the door? Yeah. Oh! Here we go. All right, let's watch them. Oh, look how happy they are. <laughs> They're excited, aren't they? Popcorn. Chicken treat. <laughs> they have ice on their water bucket. So I've got all these um, grape vines somewhere. <laughs> Here's some more. And I want to try my hand at making some wreaths with them. So I'm going to see if I can clip some. And maybe we can make some. What do you think? Try them. All right. Here's our first one. Put that there. And clip this one. I think you're supposed to soak them in water so that you can bend them and twist them. I don't know. That one's gonna do very well or not, let's see. Mama? Yeah? What about those grassy stuff? Which grassy stuff? Like the thorny stuff. Mm, I don't want the thorns. Grapevines don't have thorns though. Look, Mama, look! Over there, see those? That's for Scythia. Maybe we can Here, you can turn it off. put around. No eggs. None. They're either eating their eggs or they haven't laid any or it's too cold. Oh boy. We'll have to check again later, okay? Okay, you see the camouflage pile here? <laughs> Hopefully that'll be enough to make a wreath or two. What do you think? Yeah, all right. Here's the garlic that I planted this fall. It's up. It's all mulched with leaves, and I could probably put a little bit more on there, but anyway, a little bit of mint. Oops, wow, my shadow's really in the way. Parsley's still going strong. A lot of these herbs are pretty hardy, cold hardy. Even some of these flowers, I don't even know how they're sort of hanging on, but they are. So, I've got a few, few herbs in there. <laughs> Just a few, the rest is all dried. <laughs> Hard at work. What are we doing? Okay, figure some math out. Pangui, do you know the answer? 
You are so studious. I'm so proud. Are you okay? <laughs> You're doing such a good job. Let's see what Caleb's up to. What are you doing over here? You got Mr. Pangs. Yeah? I'm already done with my first milk bottle. You're already done with your first milk bottle. How many milk bottles do you get? Two a day. You get two a day. Oh, I see. How old are you? Five. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, so we have our oranges to put in the dehydrator. We're getting ready to make wreaths tomorrow. And then gingerbread cookie man. Yeah, I know, you really wanna do that. We'll see if we have time, okay? We have to get to piano lessons today too. So we're gonna put these in the dehydrator, all right? Okay. I'll carry you, Panto. Okay, oh, look at that, you did perfect. All right, so yeah, just do the same thing. Line it up really good. I can't find our little single. That's even better than this one. Good job. All right, so what we did here is I made some brownie mixes. Um, I got the recipe online, and then I've got these little tags. I, I wish that they were paper like this, but they're not. I will use this twine and a candy cane, and um, they'll make really nice little gifts for teachers and neighbors and such. Right, I actually don't, we only need six. One, two, three, four, five, six, so we have enough. All right, so should we attach this to it as well, do you think? And maybe write like, Merry Christmas on it? Let me try. Mm -hmm. Am I opening it the wrong way? Or is this? <laughs> That's weird. Oh, there we go. Okay, ready? Okay. You gonna open those for us so we can tie them on? Mary? She's opening out a candy cane box. Yep, we're gonna attach it. Christmas.
We'll have these for supper tonight. I just get these from Aldi. And they're like the artesian flatbread um, that I can make pizzas on. And I'm pretty sure I have enough vegan cheese and then regular yeah, cheese, sauce. I've got, um, yeah, I've got onions and green peppers. Guys, look at this. And olives. An orange eraser. An orange eraser. guys I always always intend to take you in the store with me and I always forget even had the camera in the pocket this time anyway we've got to run and pick up our Azure order but we found some great stuff I'll show it to you later okay, okay, okay. so here we go All right, that's done. Got my Azure order picked up and actually Hannah's uh, music teacher's order picked up as well. All right, let's see what we got from Azure. Food? Food? It's hard to get into it. Yes, back up food. Okay, all right, so we got Two big bags of this cherry vanilla granola. Mike absolutely loves this stuff. It's got like little clusters of um, uh, puffed rice in it and stuff. It actually has elderberry juice in it. Anyway, it's really yummy um, granola. So I have two bags of that. And... I've got a bag of yellow cornmeal. Come on. A bag of the allergen free chocolate chips. Hang on, buddy. Woo! A bag of sea salt. I love this to cook with. Um, a bag of cashew pieces. Some more bread yeast, um, some black pepper, apple cider vinegar, vanilla. Wow, look how cold it was. Avocado oil, and it is it is very cold. And then I also got um, two boxes of frozen mango that are in the fr freezer. So that <sighs> is our Azure haul. <laughs> and Azure boxes immediately become race cars charging down the racetrack. Look at him go! Oh, he's in first place! Yeah. Swinging around the corner! Woohoo! He made it! All right, what did we get at the Dollar Tree? Let's see. So, I got um, a couple packs of these gift boxes. There's three gift boxes. So there's one that looks like that. I don't, I don't know what else. So I got several packets of those size, and then one of this size here. Look, Mama, look! Oh, don't, don't need, okay, well then throw it away if it doesn't work anymore. I got some little jingle bells. Um, they could probably go on our little jars of hot, um, I keep wanting to say hot chocolate, but it's brownie mix. Okay, 
We've got two bottles of glue. That'll be for our cinnamon applesauce ornaments. And then, I thought this is really cool. Dollar Tree sells um, canvases. So, a dollar a piece. What size are they? They're an eight by 10. So, you know, for art projects or whatever with my mom, those would be perfect. Got Mike a pair of reading glasses. <laughs> we'll see if they work for him. Some gum. I didn't put that in there. Just FYI. All right, so I got this floral wire. I have floral wire, I just do not know where it is. There was green and there was gold, so I got that. Anyway, I guess we'll see how that works. That's all they had. And I will look more in the meantime for more floral wire. Okay, so for again, well, no, this would be for salt dough ornaments if we make that sometime. I got some salt. And then for the um, cinnamon applesauce ornaments, I got um, three containers here of cinnamon and then some cheapy applesauce. Oh, actually, I got four containers of cinnamon. I thought I did. <laughs> and then I got this kind of burgundy red. It's actually a faux leather, sort of a ribbon. I don't know. It's hard to see. For the ornaments. So we'll see how it works, though. Come on, no, it's for um, it's for our ornaments. Anyway, and then I stopped it. What? Oh no! Uh, look out out there in the cabinet. I stopped at Jaller General after that to see if maybe they had the floral wire, and they didn't. But I did see some more of these um little craft paper um tags, so I grabbed some more of those to have on hand and then this um burlapy looking yeah hang on burlapy looking um i'm sorry this does not show up very well but it is burlap looking ribbon and then um hey you didn't bring in the wire wreath forms girls okay i'll have to go find those um so i got this size at Dollar General, so I got three of these. Which does it say what size they are? 12 inch ones, 12 inch diameter. Which seems like a nicer size. The ones that I found, they were $1.75 at Dollar General, and of course the ones at Dollar Tree were a dollar, but they're bigger. So I guess I gotta go out in the car and find those, and then I'll show you what those look like. Okay, so I actually had got I actually gotten five of these, but they, I don't like these nearly so much as I like these. So I don't know. Anyway, these are uh, 18 inches. Okay, so that's what we got. We just need to go collect greenery and um, yeah. This has been a really busy day, guys. So we're doing flatbread pizzas for supper and Hannah's agonizing over the onions, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. So. Freezer. Oh no, let me finish them up for you. Y'all, she wasn't kidding when she said she was sticking her head in the freezer. How's it going down there? <laughs> the onions are done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got here. Guys, I've never, never done a grapevine. So I really, I just don't even know like how to do it. Here's what it looks like right now. Let's see if I can put this down. Here we go, so you can see. So I know you gotta take it and together so. do you even want to see how you do this because <laughs> I don't know how y'all probably know better than me I've never done it before Let's see here I know you grab them and you kind of wrap them around
Okay, here's my messy back porch. There's kind of an oblong one. And, uh, yeah, so I got four of them made. It's kind of cool. So here is what I've got so far. There's wheat and some really pretty like cedar, um, other evergreens. There's these berries, which I think will stay on. They seem, I don't know, who knows? But they're kind of neat. A bunch of boxwood. Uh, anyway, yeah, whole bunch of stuff. And I think there's more um, that I can pick tomorrow. I will, I will look. All right, here's the pizzas. There they are. Thanks for making them, Hannah. So this past fall, we had ordered a bunch of um, grape juice and grapes and such from um, New York Amish, right? Yes, yeah, so it was a New York vineyard, Amish vineyard. Anyway, it is so good. So I actually froze a bunch of the gallons and then um, actually want to dilute it a little bit because it's so sweet. But anyway, pizza and grape juice. So guys, I think that's all I'm going to film for today. I'm, I've, I've reached my limit. <laughs> I can't do any more today. So we'll make those uh, cinnamon applesauce ornaments another time. And I'm going to work on editing. Um, a video for you guys. Oh, yeah. Anyway, it's been a long day, hasn't it? Um, I do plan to film tomorrow um, our wreath making, so I'll take you guys along for that. So you can look forward to that. Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give the video a big thumbs up for me. And uh, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Would love to have you join. And uh, yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know what was something that was your favorite part of today. <laughs> All right, guys. <clears throat> God bless, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.